Hey there, friends. It's Lynn Lindbergh, Bad Couch Guru of your health and fitness motivation podcast. Yes, today we're going to talk about the topic uh, that I talk about often, and that is the concept of injury-free being your fastest path to success. And the way that we do this is by starting very small and easy and working ourselves up as far as uh, exercise goes. And sometimes when I work with uh, individuals, one of the things that comes out is, and I've heard this from lots of people before, is they want to just dive in and they want to work hard and they want to do the big workout and they want to do it all. And and, and I pull them back and I say, wait, 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 we're going to just take this first one and it's going to be so easy, this first exercise workout you do with me. And it's going to be so, it's going to feel so easy that you're going to almost feel like it's not enough. And sometimes that really can create some anxiety or just some feelings of like, oh my gosh, I, it needs to be more. It needs to be more. Here's why we do this. Remember, Injury-free is our fastest path to success, right? Okay, so what we look at here is when we are getting back into exercise, when we are getting back into doing something, especially if we are no longer in our 20s and have chronic illnesses and other things going on in our lives, we are very, very injury-prone. Yes, yes. And sometimes the littlest thing can, we don't even know we have a weakness somewhere and all of a sudden, boom, we've got an injury. And we're going to prevent that to help you go as fast as you can. So for example, uh, I have a, a dear friend of mine who hadn't exercised in a long time, decided like she wanted to do this. So she went to her local gym and she hired a personal trainer and she kind of figured if it's a personal certified trainer, then they know what they're doing. And, and this woman, uh, was probably in the ballpark of 300 pounds, probably. And the, one of the first exercises this trainer did was put her in a full plank. And what happened was she hurt her plantar fasciitis, which is the bottom of her foot, snapped that, strained it bad. She ended up in a boot. And she ended up uh, essentially a cast, an air cast. And she ended up in worse place than ever with an injury in her foot. And it was completely, totally one kajillion percent preventable. And this trainer was probably thinking, you know, oh, I could just, you know, we'll just see if she can hold a five second plank or a 10 second plank. But you don't take somebody who has especially a larger body, you don't take that and put that kind of a strain in an advanced mode and move even for a few seconds. You want to slowly bring the body into it. So let me give you a happier story. I have another um, client that I've been working with and um, she got a training plan from a trainer who was like, okay, if you want to do this, you know, do four rounds of 10 squats to so do like 40 squats. Now do 40 split, split squats. Now do 40 sumo squats. Now do, it was like, oh my gosh, you know, he had her doing 120 squats on her very first workout, which was ridiculous. So <laughs> what I did is I modified that and we worked her slowly into doing what she could do. And within two months, she went from hardly being able to do 10 squats with no weight to two months later, she did her 40 squats with 20 pounds of weight, plus all the others. And so the the progression was amazing to see because your body will respond unless you have something really unique, like a chronic illness, which is which is different. We work with that, right? But for the most part, if you take it easy, your body will respond, your body will get that connection of like, oh, okay, I need to grow this, I need to make this area stronger. And if you do it in a way that doesn't break the body down too much, then you'll see gains injury free so much faster. And the process isn't miserable. The process is actually kind of fun. 
And so that's what, that's what we do for people. And that's why starting easy is so powerful because you start easy, you give the body the signal, Hey, you got to grow. Then you give the body a couple days to recover and to build strength. And for you to be able to notice, Ooh, do I have any areas that look like they could be injury prone? And then we work with that until you get super strong and it's, it just feels great. So that's why it's so important to listen to your body and to make sure that you do what's right for it and you don't push way too hard, especially if you're chronic illness, especially if you're not 20 years old anymore, really honor that body when you're first getting back into it. And that's really my specialty. That's where I am a pro at. That's totally the place I play in. Um, So let me help you get there and do honor your body. It wants to smile. It wants to be there for you. So let's help your body get there where it needs to be. All right. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. 